This tutorial explains how to calculate the standard deviation of a matrix by row using the R programming language. So without much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video, I will show you two examples and the first example is based on the data frame that we can create with lines two to four of the code. So if you run these lines of code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new data set is appearing, which is called data. And we can print this data set to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line five of the code. And then you can see that we have created a new data matrix, which contains 10 rows and five columns and all the values in this matrix are numeric. Now let's assume that we want to calculate the standard deviation for each of our 10 rows. Then we can use the code that you can see in line seven. And in this line of code, I'm using the apply function and I'm applying this function to our data set. Then I'm specifying the value one, which tells the apply function that we want to calculate our standard deviation by row. And then I'm also specifying the SD function because I want to apply this function to each row of our data set. And then I'm storing the output of this in a new data object, which we call row SD1. So if you run line seven of the code, you can see that a new data object is appearing at the top right, which is called row SD1. And we can print this data object to the RStudio console by running line eight of the code. And then you can see that we have created a vector object containing 10 values, and each of these values corresponds to the standard deviation of one row in our matrix. Now we can also use the cbind function to append this vector to our data, as you can see in line 10 of the code. So within the cbind function, we have to specify the name of our data set, and we have to specify how we want to call the new column, which will contain the standard deviations of each row. And then we are storing the output of this in a new matrix object, which we call data new one. So if you run line 10 of the code, you can see that such a new matrix object is appearing at the top right. And we can print this matrix to the RStudio console by running line 11. And then you can see that we have created a new matrix, which contains our original columns X1 to X5. And in addition to that, it contains a new column, which is called SD. And this column contains the standard deviations for the rows in our matrix. So in this first example, I have explained how to calculate the standard deviations for a complete matrix. However, it's also possible to calculate standard deviations for a matrix containing NA values. And this is what I want to show you in the next example, starting in line 13 of the code. So in the first step, I'm creating a new data set, which also contains an A values. And we can do that as you can see in lines 13 to 16 of the code. So if you run these lines of code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new data set is appearing, which is called data NA. And we can print this data set to the RStudio console by running line 17. And then you can see that our new matrix object contains five columns and 10 rows as our previous data object. However, this time, some of the data cells are NA. So if we want to calculate the standard deviation for each row of this matrix, then we might try to apply the same code as in the previous example, as you can see in line 19 of the code. However, if we do that, you can see that some of the output values of our apply application are NA. And the reason for that is that the standard deviation function returns an NA value for each row in our matrix where at least one NA value occurs. So if we want to avoid that, we can use another code that you can see in line 22. And in this line of code, I'm using the na.remove argument and I'm specifying this argument to be equal to true. So if you run line 22 of the code, you can see that another data object is appearing at the top right, which is called row SD2B. And we can print this data object to the RStudio console by running line 23 of the code. And then you can see that this time we have calculated a standard deviation for each row of our matrix, no matter if this row contained NA values or not. 
In the next step, we can also append this vector object to our matrix, as you can see in 925. So if you run this line of code, you can see that another data object is appearing, which is called data new two. And we can print this matrix to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line 26. And then you can see that we have added the standard deviations to our matrix. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.